Here we have an iPad Air that came in for no power. Customer brought this in on Saturday, today is Monday, so this is the first item that I'm working on today. I told the customer this could be a battery issue. Uh, battery has never been changed on this iPad, so there's a slight possibility that it could be a battery issue. I took the iPad apart, I put a new battery, and still, iPad is not powering on. Charging rate on this tablet is about 0 0.14, 0 0.17 amps, so there's certainly something going on with the logic board. Now, what I did is I removed the metal shield that goes on top here, so we can inspect to see if there's anything obvious with any of the components here. That's the first thing I do, physical inspection. Now, this diode here, I do not like. The way this diode looks, it appears that it may have suffered a lot of heat, and that's why solder looks like this on the sides. I'm going to put the meter in diode mode. And we're going to test to see if we do have a short here. This diode is on a VCC main rail, and that's a very important rail and is responsible for powering this tablet on. So let's take a look at the board diagram to see where that diode is. It's this one right here. D8100. Yeah, so you see it's on the PP VCC main line. And we have a short here. Let me remove this diode to see if we still have a short. If you notice, one end of the diode is connecting to ground and the other end to PP VCC main. So if there's anything wrong with the diode and it's shortened out, then everything in here is going to go down to ground. So a logical thing to do right now is to remove the diode to see if we can resolve this short. We're going to use our hot tweezers with the help of our hot air station so we can remove it faster. And let's keep it right away. Do we still have a short? And yes, we do. Right now, the only thing I can see this diode connecting to is the power IC. So if the power IC itself is damaged or is shorting out, then it's going to cause the whole tablet not to turn on, and it's going to cause the short on PP VCC main. Let me continue with inspecting this board. Okay, what's this over here? Look at this capacitor, it's broken in half. Let's take a look at the board diagram to see what this capacitor does. This is probably on the VCC main line as well. And this is the C8256. C8256. This capacitor can cause a short because one end is connecting to ground. So if there's anything wrong with this capacitor, then it's going to short the whole line down to ground. Let me go ahead and remove this capacitor to see if we can get rid of the short. If yes, then we may be able to put the diode back and test to see if the tablet is working. And let's see, do we still have a short?
and we still have a short. Uh, this capacitor is on the PPVCC main LED line. The circuit is coming from the U8100 chip, which is the power IC. North is fixed. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so right now we pinpointed the problem to being a power IC issue. Short is coming from the power IC. Both the cap and the diode are shorting out and both of them are connected to that same chip. We do not have the power IC in stock, but even if we do, we're going to have to call the customer to let them know that we're going to charge them more money to replace this IC. Replacing the power management IC is not an easy job because of the underfill, and it's going to require more time, and it will cost the customer more money. If customer agrees, then we will order the chip and replace it. If not, then uh, he can come and pick up, and he does not owe us any money. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this short video. At least we got to pinpoint where the problem is coming from. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.